Developing countries often face severe uh, resource constraints and weak institutions. Encouraging private investment into basic research may produce technology to assist the local governments to provide um, basic infrastructure and services. I realized that we know a lot about firms' investment to apply research through the uh, literature's innovation and patenting, but it seems we know little about why firms are investing into basic research and uh, uh, what's, in, uh, what's the characteristic of those research. I'm interested in this topic is because a lot of the basic needs in our uh, daily life, for example, like food and clean water that we take granted for, are actually made possible because of basic research. Despite the high social returns, basic research still faces underinvestment from firms and mostly depends on government funding. Take Ebola as an example. The urgent need for 1.5 million vaccines in the affected developing countries could only be met by big pharmaceutical companies. Why do companies conduct unprofitable research? And why are companies' R&D decisions so different? These questions are important because these products can cure diseases, reduce mortality, and improve life expectancy. I hope by exploring the underinvestment in all those areas may help us realize how to encourage more investment into basic research or arts or education. <laughs>